Okay, this is my walk away um, movement, walking away from the democratic machine. Um, I wouldn't say I walked away in the 2000, 2004 election, even though I did vote for Bush. But um, I just didn't like John Kerry or um, whoever was running against Bush 2008. 2004, I mean, um, kind of forgot who was, um, because if it wasn't a person that I like, I probably didn't remember them. Also, in the 28, 2012, when, um, 28, I never wanted to vote for Hillary, and I never wanted to vote for Obama. I was a registered Democrat. I did not vote for the primary, but I was supporting Obama because I didn't want her, the queen, the bitch, to win. Um, but um, I never supported Obama in the general election. I supported John McCain. He turned out to be a rhino. I'm not exactly a fan of his. And then, um, I only voted for him because of Sarah Palin. I think Sarah also is like Trump, but American people. And then in 2004, make 2000, no, 2012, um, when Mitt Romney ran, I was never had my gut. I had a gut reaction to a nasty one. I did not vote for him, I didn't support him. Another Republican machine plant. That's also the reason why I walk away from the Republican machine too. Um, and then during the 2012 election, Mick Romney was showing his true colors for what happened in the BP um, oil spill. was never going down to Oak Louisiana to um, help these people, Obama was, um, and he's like, oh, I don't have time for these other people, like BP CEO said, who cares about small people? This is the reason why I'm not a Republican person, more like a conservative leaning Democrat, although now, the machine, the liberal machine, has took over the Democrat party, so I'm not a Democrat. I left this. Um, and then when Superstorm Sandy hit, again, where was Mick Romney? Mick Romney was too busy campaigning. Obama came, even though his responses to other disasters or emergencies was weeks later, months later, this is the reason why I never voted for Obama. So anyway, that was the October surprise for Mick Romney. I don't care what the media says and the news say. Mick Romney showed his true colors during the 2012 election. He was a heartless, greedy SLB who only cares about winning the election. I don't care what he says after the election and why um, he wanted to go down there. No, he didn't. If he really, really wanted to go down there, he would have. So, otherwise, um, I wrote in um, another candidate who was a little more conservative and a little more compassionate. And then, 2016 rolled around, and um, two years before, year and a half before, I wasn't the biggest Trump supporter, I wasn't a Trump helper, I just liked what he was saying, I liked how he defended us, um, about 9-11 in New York City and a few others, and when it came down, down to him, um, Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz, Cruz and Rubio 
turn me off big time. You were too religiously clutching people. So uh, when Trump came to our airport, so our academy and things I didn't really know about in our academy, I got on the Trump train and I'm staying on the Trump train till God knows when. Um, I hope his kids, his sons, not his daughter, his sons run for political office. They are awesome. His, his daughter is more liberal and her husband is liberal too, so I'm not exactly a fan of hers either. But anyway, um, I, and the Democratic side, I was for funny. I'm not a fan. I was not a fan. Don't get me wrong. I was not a fan. But I was hoping he would beat her, the queen, the bitch, Queen Bee, because I was never for him, never liked her. I liked her husband, worried for her husband. However, I was never with her. So, um, when they stole the election from Bernie Sanders, I officially now have walked away from the Democratic Party because the machine took over and I do not like controlling assholes, bitches, and anything related to it. So, Democratic Party, you screwed yourselves. And the Republican Party, Trump beat you, beat the press, and beat everybody who was against him. And he's still one of the great presidents we ever had. And he's making his promises. He's keeping his promises. Making us great again, making us safe again, making us strong again. And he will continue doing it if you allow him to do his job. So let him do his job so we can be happy and safe and great again, strong. All about what Trump said. I am for the wall. These, like one of the other YouTube walkway movement people said. You don't know who's crossing the wall. USA did an article today. We did USA Today, front page. Talked about the immigration um, families being separated again. Um, I just wish they showed more pictures and video about what really is going on because obviously they want to fear mongering us to not support Trump's immigration wall. But you don't know who is really coming over. And like these refugees, we have to vet these refugees. Because you don't really know who is coming. And this band is legal, it's constitutional. And liberal judges and liberals, shut the hell up. Trump is only protecting us. He's doing what real Americans want. Also, he listened to us, real Americans, not the immigrants who are forcing their way to change our, um, policies, traditions, culture. They both, you need to wake up to all these changes um, these people want. It's like the illegals want health care and Medicaid and all these things without working and they're having kids um, left and right, not married, no money, no health care, no support. And who do you think will pay, who is paying for this? Us. Um, so I'm so fed up with these um, legal immigrants or immigrants who want to change our values, morals, ethics, and traditions, and culture. That's not what America is all about. America is freedoms and having the right to choose what we like in our country. So if you want to do something too bad because Real Americans want conservative 
um, I mean, Will and Malkin's want Malkin things back. Nothing else. Um, too bad this country is changing and resist us. They're not going to win in November. Even if the Democrats and Republicans both have to beat you ass. Resistors won't win.